Greetings, family. Welcome to African Math Lesson 4. Hope you've had fun with your lessons up until this point. I'm sure you've been practicing. You've learned how to skip count and to convert that chaos quantity into the abacus order. But just to make sure you thoroughly understand how to do that, I'm going to have a little review. So I need you all to get your dehoodies out, get your beads ready, and let's have some fun. Okay, let's start here. This is the number four. It's a symbol, afronumeric number, four, but we're going to initiate the chaos quantity of four into the abacus order of four. We're going to start by doing so by first putting four beads into the first cup. We'll do that. Start here. One. Two, three, four. Now, I didn't mention in previous lessons that you can clear the exact same amount that you carry. Um, and it doesn't have to be just one bead. You can clear actually any amount as long as the same amount that you clear is the same amount that you carry. So here's number four, we're going to clear to, then we carry to, but now we still have more than one bead in that second cup. So does anyone know the process that we have to do to initiate these beads into the abacus order? You said clear, carry, you are correct. So the chaos quantity was initiated into the abacus order and we derived that the number four. One, two, four. Okay, let's see if we can challenge you. We're gonna do the same process again, except this time we're gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads, okay? But to make it more efficient so that we don't clear, carry, clear, carry, clear, carry going down, we're gonna clear four, then we're gonna carry four. Okay, so we're gonna clear one, two, three, four. And let's carry four, one, two, three, four, leaving the first cup empty. Now we have four beads in the second cup, and this time we're gonna clear two, carry two. Clear two, carry two, leaving us two beads in the third cup. Now we're gonna clear one, carry one, landing in the fourth cup, which has a value of eight. One, two, four, eight. About another one. Let's see something easy this time. Three, one, two, three. So this time we don't have enough beads to clear more than one and carry more than one. So we'll simply clear one, carry one, deriving that our answer three, one plus two equals three. All right, now let's try seven. This is my favorite number. Very easy, easy symbol to remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can't clear four and carry four because we don't have four beats to clear and carry. But what we can do is clear three. One, two, three, carry three. One, two, three. And don't count by chaos quantities when you do this with your actual dehudi. Just pick up three beads and clear and pick up three beads and carry. 
So now we have three beads in the second cup. Anytime you have more than one bead, you have to reduce to one or none with a process called clear carry. So from the second cup, we'll clear one and we'll carry one, deriving at the answer is seven. One plus two plus four equals seven. Our last one for the day will be the number five. Let's place five beads in that first cup. One, two, three, four, five. Can someone tell me the most efficient amount to clear and carry? I believe two is the way to go. So we're going to clear two. One, two, carry two. One, two. Two in the second cup, clear one, carry one, Our answer is five. One plus four equals five. Thanks again for attending African Math Lesson 4. Please comment, follow, subscribe. Find us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Please share, and we love to receive comments. Thanks a lot. See you next time.